Probably just deal five damage to cleave, five damage to cleave, and then snipe. There we go. Destroy that shard. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to try out Arcanium, and it is an open world roguelite deck builder um, that seems super, super interesting, and this video is actually sponsored by Rogue Games Inc., the publisher of Arcanium, and I've actually had a lot of you guys, especially on my Discord server, uh, asking me to check the game out as well. So overall, I just wanted to try the game out for the first time, because I'm a huge roguelite deck builder fan, um, and kind of give my first impression. So we'll jump in, I guess, normal difficulty difficulty and um, okay we've got a lot of characters to uh, to pick from here I don't really know the difference don't really know what these symbols are so I want to just pick the people that look cool I like this uh, this this you know kind of tiger person I like a Ragnarok the crocodile and you know bow and arrow looks cool too so um, I guess they have heirlooms which oh okay um, so they get cool stuff once they level up, so we are going to be leveling them up, apparently. Um, yeah, we'll just give them training armor, I guess. Do they all have a... S okay, they all have just training armor, so... No reason not to put them on, my, my guess is here. And, um, we don't have any stones or anything like that, so we're going to just jump into it. So, quick guide. Main objective, beat the boss to win the run. Boss battles are extremely challenging and will automatically trigger upon reaching 90 threat. Side objectives, shard battles appear throughout your run. They are tough battles and reward you with the best loot. Side quests are also a good way to receive good loot. And exploration, explore the world at your own pace. The more you explore, the more threat you'll accumulate. Stepping on pink nodes will increase your threat, while white nodes will not add any threat. Okay, so we're kind of just going to be exploring around, um, uh, probably trying to, uh, you know, kind of level up. So select a final boss. Um, and starting provenance. You know what, we'll get some, we'll get some spooky stuff going on here. Um, Annex and her forces have swarmed the land, spewing webs of corruption under Aachen's direction. She will come find you when the threat reaches 90, unless you find her first. And she's going to, um, bosses change passive at the start of each round and are immune to crowd control. So they're going to do a lot of poison, kind of do some stuff back at us. What is this? Um, apply poison. Okay, what does this person do? He's going to get immune when getting hit. Um, you know, we'll do the poison. Well, I, I want to kind of experience this, so... Oh, man. I'm feeling calm. I think we have a good chance, friends. The balance is all off here. We'll restore it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, I don't even know, like, our starting decks. I don't really know how this here works. Um... Let's see here. So this is pack leader. That's not the boss, is it? I think that's a um maybe the boss of this f floor. Oh, final battle defeat the boss to defeat the run. So that's the boss? I don't know. Okay. Quest, breach battle, event, nature shrine to gain permanent upgrades. Um let's do a shrine, I guess. Okay, choose a blessing for the rest of this one. Add one mending card to each hero's deck. Apply one leech to all enemies at the start of each turn. Apply one backlash to all heroes. What does leech do? Restores health at 10% of the damage dealt per stack when hitting this target. Let's do that. Let's get a cool wait way unless what's mending. Uh, doesn't tell me what mending is. Tells me what artifact is. Um, okay. Well, you know what? We're going to go leeching. That makes sense to me. Okay, so we have leeching. Um, oh, the other shrine's not there. Okay. Event. Okay, let's go to a battle. Let's let's go to just a normal battle. See what this is. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, basic battle tips. Drag the cards under your heroes. Oh, this is almost like uh, Trials of Fire, where we're going to have three different heroes that all have their own decks. That's kind of cool. So drag the cards under your heroes onto one of the three lanes, auto-targeting enemies or allies to activate the card. Cards have an AP action point uh, shown in the top left corner and a limited range. AP fills, refills each turn. Um, drag heroes with adjacent ones to swap positions um, onto one of the three lanes. So they're going to be targeting different enemies. That's interesting. Okay. 
Swapping heroes, swapping heroes between lanes allows you to, uh, allows your beefier, stronger heroes to protect more fragile ones. It also is essential in lining up your shots for your melee cards, which only attack the same lane. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Swapping costs one AP for the hero you're dragging. Cards can either be melee or ranged. Melee cards um, allow you to uh, attack on the same lane. Ranged cards, which are an arrow icon, allow you to attack adjacent lanes. Self-cast cards indicates it can be cast on yourself, and double shield indicates it can be cast on an adjacent ally. Okay. Okay, so all we have to do is defeat uh, any three enemies. Enemies respawn after four turns. So what... Okay, that's just looking at what their cards are. Okay. Okay, this is pretty cool. Okay, start battle here. So they're doing a setup. So what, they're going to be applying three poison here. They're going to do six damage and root us, which what does root do? Um, this target's unable to swap to an additional location. And this is doing six and root, okay. This is, oh, it's got like the little hearthstone tapping on the thing, um, okay. Deal five damage in a cleave shield steal. Gain shield equal to the direct damage dealt. So, I don't know, let's do that, right? Just good amount of damage. Deal three damage, force the minion in your lane to attack once. I don't want it to attack me. Promote? Wait, 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 what? Minions with a promote will kill, then absorb the attack. Wait, am I summoning a... You can summon minions? Minions position themselves in front of your heroes, potentially protecting the hero from harm. Enemy and hero minions deal their attack damage at the end of the round at the same time. Some of them have pulse effects which trigger at the start of your turn. So he's going to promote. Minions with promote will kill then absorb the attack from any minion this minion is replacing. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Um, so six damage here. We might actually want to... Wait, why can't I move? Oh, I can move, okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have done that. And I can't redo it, because these are all only melee. Actually, you know what, that's fine. Deal four damage, lose one chi. What is chi? I don't know what chi is. It's probably something I'm giving to myself. Um, so we're going to, what does shock do? Deals X damage to adjacent targets when the target is hit, okay. We'll just start stacking shock here. Two shock there. Uh, deal 10 damage, no range limit. Yeah, let's do that. Keep getting that shock there, and then that minion's already going to kill that person, so I'm kind of fine there. Arrow, apply three poison, we'll poison this person here. Okay, so we do our stuff, now they're attacking us here. Oh, this only deal... And it didn't protect me from poison. That is interesting. I was thinking this was going to deal two damage to our guy. Or, I mean, four. But, okay. It looks like he's dead now. Um, we will apply some poison. And promote. Oh, maybe it's not on the turn they're doing it. You know what I mean? Maybe it's they take a turn. So in that case, let's, uh... Oh, I can only do it in that same lane. Deal five damage and a cleave. Um... Okay, you know what? You know what? We're going to... I guess put a person here. Yeah, that doesn't protect, so that's interesting. You can't really do that in response of things. Um, so then we're going to... Oh, he can't move! I mean, can can it swap this way? Let's see, let's just do that. Oh, you can attack their minion space, too. That's interesting. Okay, draw, wait, draw ult? Cause six mana. Summon three... Wait, 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 wait. Summon three Reptarian spawn in a cleave. Six. Oh! Well, I already kind of have that. And this person can't move. So we'll switch. Oh, I can't even switch. Yeah, okay. Well, that's that's kind of pointless because I can't. I already have two spawns there. But, okay. Um, yeah, this is, this is a little unfortunate. But what we'll do here is we will do the 10 damage there. That guy, that one's actually going to die. 
And this is gaining me chi. I guess I can hit people just to gain that chi. Um, and we will end our turn. They're gonna respawn. That's interesting. We just still have to kill three people here. And we're not uh, still targeted though. Oh, you do keep? Okay, so it doesn't reset your mana, so you can actually save it a little bit. Um, well, in this case, we can just um, double the damage of the targets affected by poison. Dang, okay. Okay, well, we'll just uh, switch over here, and we will um, kill three enemies. Final blow. Enemies scurry away. Okay, okay. So we can get gold or abilities. Right-click cards to view the details. Uh, choose one of the rewards. Gain six shield, draw a card. Mark, lob, deal five damage and a splash upon hitting the target with any elemental card. Does poison count as elemental? I don't know. Nature cards. Okay, so these are the types of cards, like the nature, damage, shielding, healing. is increased by nature power. Um... Deal five damage and an extra five damage per arrow card in your hand. Let's just do arrows, I guess, here. Oh, okay, elemental. Oh, okay, elemental's the red card. That's interesting, okay. Um, yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. I don't know how to tell what's a rare and what's not. My, my guess is those are commons and this is a rare. You know, we're actually gonna get in this because he's gonna be our kind of like tank a little bit, this crocodile guy. So we'll do that. We'll equip it on him. Oh, we get to do multiple things here. Arrow, deal nine piercing. I'm assuming that goes through shield. Um, can target... Oh, no, no. Piercing will deal damage directly to the health, ignoring all resistance and shields. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. It's an arrow card. Um, okay, we'll take that. We'll equip it. And uh, we get gold, I guess. We found 58 gold. Okay, continue. So... Is this their dex? Okay. Artifacts, I don't know. Oh, there's like items as well. This is like a whole thing, but we have everything. Okay, so yeah, it's common, green, and then blue is rare, epic, are limited to three copies on each card. Legendary abilities are limited to one on each. Okay. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's get a quest. Treasure hunt. This there is gold in them hills. You receive a treasure map from curiously a curiously shady weasel. Think we can handle whatever is out here, I think. So where? It's gotta go over here. Oh, I have to like walk at it. Okay. Um, so that's a boss and that's like a elite thing or something. Easy difficulty enemies. Activating nodes adds very much of threat to the threat bar when the threat bar is full. Well, instantly battle us at each new milestone. New shard battles drop in all provenances, replacing any shards that are still active. It's interesting. Well, we'll go to an event here. A weathered eye. While resting inside a long abandoned hut, you spot a thin dark line in the dust of the floorboards. A trap door. Whoever lived here before it must have left behind something of great value. Gain lost medallion artifact 50%, but deal 6 damage to all party members 50%. Uh, because we have an assassin, you attempt to disarm the booby trap and stick your hand in the cash. Gain lost. Oh, yeah. So because we have an assassin? Is that what it was? Who's who's our assassin? I don't know who's considered our assassin here, but we'll do this. Okay, we got it. Um, oh, backpack. The backpack is where you store and equip your artifacts, abilities, and item cards. You can equip up to three artifacts and four extra ability cards here. Deck minimum is eight ability cards. Using the hero portraits to change heroes, ability cards are restricted to certain heroes, while artifacts can be assigned to anyone. Your heroes also gain passive bonuses for applying cards to certain slots. So gain two power whenever you empty your hand once per turn. Whenever you empty your hand once per turn. Okay, who has a lot of low-cost cards, you know what I mean? Um... One, two, probably this person, right? The tiger. So we'll give that artifact there. Pretty good artifact. Okay. Okay. We got the lost medallion. Um, capital. Do we have a lot of gold? Not really. Defeating battles rewards essence at five essence. Upgrade a hero for the run. Oh. 
Okay. Um, we'll do a battle. We'll do a battle. We want some of this stuff. So we need to expose and destroy this shard. Defeat an enemy to expose and destroy the shard. Enemies respawn after one full turn. Okay. This is interesting. This is interesting that the battles have different um, kind of things. So I can change the position here. But I think I'm going to keep them. Chomp, chomp. Here I come. Oh, why can't Ragnarok move? Okay, so he's going to... The bears are going to... Oh yeah, I forgot they have leech on him. So what's this bear going to do? Clean, gain three cleanse and three resilience. Cleanse removes debuffs on him. And resilience reduces all incoming damage. And this guy's poisoning us. Okay, well... Um... I think what we do, shield steel, they don't have shields, so I think the play here is we're going to put one spot here, and we're going to do these to gain some chi, deal 4 damage, and gain 2 power, right? Why aren't we gaining 2 power? We just, wasn't that the, wasn't that the whole artifact you put on them? Gain 2 power whenever you empty your hand once per turn. Did we not just do that? I'm, I'm, I'm a little... Oh, power isn't the mana. Power increases direct damage by 10% stack until the end of the round. Oh, that's not as good as I was thinking it was going to be. Okay, well, either way, we're going to switch this now. And then we're going to place that there. want to get these minions here everywhere. Um, and you know what? We're going to deal 7 damage, double if... Okay, poison. We could just kill that person, right? Seven damage, three. What'd that do? Ten? No, no, yeah, let's just kill this person. Let's just expose. Oh, wait. Oh, you can't do all the way across. Mmm, okay. Okay, I see. Because we really only need to kill one, right? So, we're going to move her in the middle. Maybe she needs to be in the middle, right? Because she's the one that's ranged. I want her to be able to hit anyone. So we're going to... It's not poisoned already. Oh, sniper shot could have hit anyone. Um, But the, the yeah, poisoning doesn't do much here for us, right? So... Wait, why is that... Why is this... Uh, why is it doing so much? Elemental. Elements have a red border. Elemental damage, shielding, and healing is increased by elemental power. I don't know why this person is taking more damage from elemental. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's like a rock, paper, scissors type thing. Oh, or not. For all incoming damage that will hit this target's health. I'm still a little... Okay, we'll, we'll get... Oh, see, now they did attack. Okay, but now we gotta destroy that shard. Gonna do as much damage as we can here. He buffed himself. That's whatever. Getting poisoned here a little bit. It's all right. So we want to just destroy this freaking shard. Um, let's see. Okay, here we go. Poison the shard. And then we're going to do extra damage to it. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to just, yeah, do some damage here. And we're going to move. Can we, can we do... Oh, it's got to be like one at a time. Um... Huh. Huh, huh, huh. This is interesting. I kind of wanted to... What does shock do? Okay, let's just move one. And we will shock this. So he's going to be dealing damage to some other... The other people. There you go. Just a little bit. Only one shock. Um, they do have the cleanse there. And I don't think it goes away. Like, it doesn't tick down. Oh, that guy dispelled his stuff. Oh, no, no, it spawned a new one. Thunder kick. Oh, his shot got away. Plus 10%. Oh, Wrath of Umbra. Oh, oh. I didn't even notice that was a thing. Um, okay, well. Let's uh, gain... S oh, no, no, let's put the shock on first. And... Oh, that guy's got... That guy's got shield. Guy's got shield here. Um, I think it's still worth it, maybe? Or maybe we... 
No, let's move here. And then we can... We'll, we'll do a cleave to everybody there. Just because that shock's going to keep doing, helping us keep placing these guys probably all that we can. Um, and I don't know. Who do we hit? Do we just plan to try to start killing this guy on the left here? We can sniper shot. And we can poison this guy a little bit. Oh, we have their ultimates. Six, summon three. What is her ultimate? Deal 16 damage, refund 3 Fury if lethal. Lethal. Um, how much damage is doing? 16. Okay, let's kill that guy. Oh, it didn't. It didn't kill. Um, we're going to play this. Oh, wait, it buffs. Wait, wait, wait. Promote. So, minions with promote will kill, then absorb the attack from any minion this minion is replacing. Oh! So you can actually put them on top of each other and, uh... Oh, I see. I see. What is this ult? Multi-strike, uh, four deal. Okay, let's let's do this. And then we're gonna freaking thousand fist the shard. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we got our gold. Uh, t oh, my teleport to any lane. That's what we want. I want that. Uh, cause he's kind of our tank here. Um, choose an arrow card in your hand, shuffle two copies of it into your deck that costs zero. Ooh. I like that. That's real good. Okay. So, we're at two out of five essence. What, what, did we get some stuff? New abilities. Oh yeah, we have to actually put them in our deck. So yeah, we'll put that in. And we'll put this in. And we could take some things out. Um... But I don't think we really want to do that yet, maybe? I don't know. We probably do, but... Um, let's, uh, let's do another shard thing. Could get some spiders and a wolf here. Um, so I actually want her in the middle. Uh, okay, cool. Okay. Okay, what is this guy doing? Multi-strike, three, deal two damage. Well... Oh! Choose an arrow card in your hand, shuffle two copies up into your deck. We're gonna do that with the Heartseeker arrow. The Heartseeker arrow. Having a bunch of those be free, that's insane. Okay. Um, deal seven damage. We don't have enough to do our whole, like, little poison thingy or whatever. Um, so we're actually going to move... Ah. Uh, now we'll poison... We'll poison this one here. I guess. And we'll do shock. I know it's not like optimal, but um, then we're going to gain some chi. And then we're going to immediately spend that chi to deal some extra damage there. Keep having that shock trigger. Play our guy. I don't want him to attack me multiple times, so we're gonna we're gonna save that mana there. Okay, oh yeah, I, we can't move here. These two can't move. Getting hurt a little bit. That's okay, though. Also, yeah, this Wrath of Umbra. All stacks are lost upon being destroyed. I don't know why they get that. If it's because of the shard events or what. But it's something. Um, Let's see here. 10 damage. Oh, double if they're poisoned. Okay, that, that there we go. That should do 14, right? Why is it saying it's only going to do 8? I'm so confused. Nature cards of it, nature damage, shielding, and healing is increased by nature power. Like, does that make it like... I don't know. Hmm. Because, like, you would think double the damage if they're afflicted by poison, which they are. So 14. So why are you only taking... Like, 14. I don't understand how that works. I really don't. Um, but we can can't even kill this person. Um, I think we just yeah do that four and then do the extra damage. So there's the shard. So we're going to yeah snipe that. 
do a little bit of hit on that. Um, teleport us to any lane. Oh, here we go. Teleport us to that lane. And then we'll hit this. It's not going to attack, so we can just do that as free damage. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get poisoned here a little bit. Hmm. Oh, it summoned something. It summoned an 8-4. Are they just gonna f kill each other? Is that how that works? Probably is how that works. Um... Okay, we're gonna gain a shield, draw a card, because we got a lot of mana here. Okay, here we go. Um, probably just deal five damage to the cleave, five damage to the cleave, and then snipe. There we go. Destroy that shard. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? Okay, gold. Um, deal nine damage, apply one shock per chi. That's good, but we don't have a... Oh, it's upgraded, though. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. Um. Oh, here we go. Maybe we do... Apply three shock, draw two cards if you have no chi. That's good because it's upgraded, but this actually gives us the chi. What does splash mean? Hits all adjacent allies, heroes, and minions. So this is hurting us? Apply three shock, draw two cards if you have no cheat. No, we'll do that. Okay. So we got two awesome things for our person here. So the question is, okay, we equip, equip. I don't know what this slot bonus means. Oh, we get a redraw if we have more more cards. Because obviously you're not supposed to um, you know, do that. So I'm actually going to take away one power surge. Um, you know what, actually? Deal nine damage, apply one shock per chi. I'm gonna take away two of them. That way I can just fully use them all for shockwave. Actually, no, but then the arc light. No, we'll, we'll, okay, we'll just take away one of them. Um, we're here. Okay, let's complete. Okay, let's see what the quest is. The scroll represents the spirit who protects Enador. I'm not sure how it ended up here, but it needs to go back to its rightful place, which is going to be across this over there. Oh, wait, wait, what was this? An elite battle? Actually, oh, no, no, let's. Loot cash. You found a ram loot chest. This should help. Items. Items are powerful helpers that reset at the start of each battle. They have a certain number of charges or uses per battle, so use them at the right moment for maximum impact. They are occasionally awarded after battles and loot chests or can be purchased. Okay. Love this because it does the one thing that I constantly talk about with roguelites where it, it resets. It refills at the start of each battle, so I don't have to like worry about saving them for the boss. Absolutely love that. So we got a shielding potion that gives 10 sh shield, charges one. I absolutely love that. We get an artifact here, deal two piercing arcana damage whenever you hit an enemy. Apply one bleed, reduce the first instant. No, we'll get that, that's really good. An ability here, choose an arrow card in your hand, shuffle two copies of it that are free. Like that card. Equip that, um, gold. I don't know who we're gonna actually equip the, okay, well, yeah, item, we can just equip, automatically equipped here. Uh, the chopper, whenever we're dealing piercing, um, deal two piercing damage whenever you hit an enemy. We probably put this on her, maybe? Yeah, okay. So, breach an elite enemy. Uh, defensive battle, survive for four turns. Okay, we'll do, we'll do an elite battle here. We'll do an elite battle. Elite enemies have 50% increased max health, along with more gold upon being defeated. They will give one artifact and two ability cards. Okay, this guy... Oh my gosh, okay. So we have to... It's the destroy the shard thing. Teeth and claws gain one backlash for every two debuffs received. Um, gain eight shield at the start of each turn. Deal two damage and apply root upon being hit. Okay. So we really just need to kind of focus on one person here. Um, we're going to put her in the middle. Um... And, yeah, I think we want to do that. Okay, so they're going to deal 12 damage, an extra 3 damage per backlash. Receive one backlash, so you don't have any backlash on you. Gain 8 shield. He's just doing that iron fur thing. Apply 5 poison. Okay. Um, 
Let's go ahead and extra arrows, because this is going to be a long fight. One of the Heat Seeker arrows, or Heart Seeker arrows. Um, let's see here. Do we... We're going to just poison this person on the right, I think. Which actually rooted us. Why did that root us? Deal two damage and apply root upon being hit. Oh, okay. I see how it is. So we're going to... Um, deal some damage to do shock, and then we'll do multiple hits here. Not that matters. Um, oh, I can't even, I can't move anymore with these people, so we'll just go ahead and place our spawn here. I like all the different heroes. I do genuinely, uh, enjoy them here. So, okay, we're taking 10. We're taking, what, 12 attack here? We have 5. Okay, I don't, I'll, I'll save the shielding potion. This guy's a little bit more buff for us, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, let's see. Ooh, there we go. Arc Light. Apply three shock, draw two cards if you have no chi. We do have two chi, though, so we will, um... Oh, here we go. Okay, we're gonna just deal a ton of extra damage. The 9-9 nine, nine there. Apply three shock, draw two cards if you have no chi. I know we kind of want the shock on first, but, you know, is what it is. Um, I want to move him. Okay, let's move here. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, but now what we can do is we can do a spawn here. I think I still do the spawn even though I can't do anything. And we're going to extra arrows. Um, oh, can I only choose... Why couldn't I choose sniper shot? Was it... Wait. I don't know how to even see my... What's that card? Choose an arrow card in your hand. Oh, sniper shot's not an arrow, apparently. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Um, we'll sniper shot that person over there. Um, and we're taking 10 damage here, 15. We will go ahead and use, yeah, 10 shield there. Okay. Okay. This is pretty cool. Oh, was that hitting? Oh, man. Oh no, it's and it's got block. Which I'm assuming is, you know, like Hearthstone. Um, teleport to any lane, deal nine damage, apply shock per chi. Um Oh my gosh, it's all these free things, but they're not poisoned. This guy's poisoned. So we need to get this person over here, over to the right. So we're going to replace B barrel roll here, so a free movement there, and we're gonna move. Um, play a shock. What is it, what is doing shock? Probably doesn't do anything. Four damage. Oh, it's got. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We got our ult. Um. Okay, so now we're going to do the seven damage. And now we're going to uh, Thousand Fists. And we will, I guess just, it's not, they're not poisoned, but we want to deal as much damage as we can here, obviously. We got our ult. Deal 16 damage, refund 3 Fury if lethal. Doesn't matter, we're just still going to do it here. And you know what, we're going to move? Oh no, 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 it's, it's, uh I wanted to do the Tail Lash. Okay, well we probably still just Tail Lash. Oh, we got our ult. Oh, summons the army. You know, we'll probably still do it. Just upgrade those army. I like that promote mechanic. Um, okay. We're gonna take we're taking a little bit of damage here, not gonna lie. I wish we could have beaten it this turn, but that's okay. Okay, now we just kill the person. We just say, get out of here. Okay, so we got gold, we got an artifact, uh, apply one wound whenever you hit an enemy, reduce all healing and shielding to the target, ooh, gain two shield whenever you swap lanes, restore two health at the start of each turn, that battle mace could be real good on our crocodile, uh, deal five damage and an extra damage per arrow card in your hand, oh, consume up to five poison on the target, deal four damage per poison removed, we're not really doing poison any, uh, I don't know what we're doing, 
I think we take multi. Uh, let's. I don't. Let, maybe we lean into the poison here. Gain six shield. Draw a card. I like that. Okay. Oh, essence upgrades permanently empower a hero by choosing one of the upgrades. Gain plus one AP at the start of a turn. Gain twenty health. Um, gain plus ten max HP and fifteen percent power. Upgrade your ultimate card. Um, I think more AP for our sniper. I think is what we do there. Um, artifacts. We'll put this. Oh, oh. We'll put this on him because, well, yeah, what if we wound everyone with that one thing, you know what I mean? So now we have an extra redraw here. Um, I don't really want these attack commands. I'm going to just take them all out, quite honestly. Um, okay, here we go. We got we to gotta figure this person out. So we have the poison. It's just... Oh, the sniper shot is so good, too. Arrow, deal nine. Okay, I think we take obsidian arrow. Oh, it's upgraded, though. And vision. Oh, we can only have up to 12. That's interesting. Okay. Well, let's let's get rid of Obsidian Arrow. I hate to... Uh, let's get rid of Sniper Shot. I love it. But... Yeah. Okay. So, camp. Yeah, let's heal. Restore party health or upgrade cards. Heal the whole team. Heal a specific hero for 50% health. Actually, let's do that. Let's heal the... That's interesting that you can do that. Tar woke up. <laughs> um, I can't go. Oh, I can go here. Breach battle. But okay, we're gonna we're gonna start heading back here. Uh oh. Major shard of Umbra. Umbra is still raining down shards upon this land. Let's go find and destroy it. So are these the shards? Shard battle. Defeat a super elite villain. And apparently that's our active quest. I don't know what our active quests really are trying to do, but here, we'll do this treasure hunt quest. 160 gold. Um, we don't want to fight the boss yet. Um, okay, let's let's purchase goods here. We have a lot of money. Find and rescue the missing shopkeepers in this province to access their goods. Oh! Well, hmm. Okay, before yeah, let's let's go. Just do a normal defensive battle here. I maybe should have gone to the shrine first. But okay, we'll do a normal defensive battle. We just have to survive for four rounds. Um, and yeah, I don't reduce all light damage taken by fifty percent. Reduce oh, okay, that's those are the resistances. Those are their resistances. That makes sense. Okay. Your turn. Um. Okay. I actually kind of want him in the middle. We got a lot of these sniper shots. Um. Drag here. Discard minus one fury. I don't... What does fury do? I'm... Drag here, discard, minus one fury. Whatever, we'll we'll keep we'll keep this here. So they're gonna deal six night deal six damage and apply two to spell and a cleave. So it's gonna hurt all of our buffs. Poisoning us. Or no, just dealing nine damage. And he's gonna buff himself up. So we just need to uh protect ourselves. So we're going to uh spawn. Which Oh no, that's killing Oh, that was so stupid, because that's hitting in a line. That is just killing my guy. Um, well, let's, let's shake things around, spawn there, um, hmm, I guess we will, 10 damage, it's just, no, we got extra arrows, that obsidian arrow, um, let's just, yeah, kill this guy, sure. Um, deal nine damage. So he's gonna get rid of the shock. Apply three shock, draw two cards if you have no chi. We'll do that. He's getting rid of the shock, unfortunately, but... Um, apply one shock per chi. Oh, this sucks that we're stacking this up on him. Um, 
but we'll just start gaining some chi. Uh, taking 15 damage. Okay, I guess we'll put the shield on already. Ooh, spicy. Spicy. Okay, um... Deal 10 damage, let's see here. Okay, well at this point here, we're gonna do the poison, and then we're gonna deal the double damage. There we go, killed that person, we don't have to worry about them for now. Um, deal 9 damage, apply 1 shock per chi. Ugh. I guess the shocks, yeah that doesn't even... Shock is kind of pointless here, and they're going to be. What are they doing? Deal seven damage in a line. Shield still stealing all our shield. Um, teleport to any lane. Like yeah, what happens if I? Okay, I reroll. Oh. Discard minus one fury. What? What is fury? I don't. I don't know what that. Uh, what that means here. Um. But yeah, like I don't I don't want these cards. But um like discard a card. <laughs> I don't I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does. Uh we'll just end our turn. I care about saving my mana. Oh, spicy. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Um Deal 9 damage, apply 1 shock per chi. He's... Ch okay, Bear's just shielding himself. I don't know, maybe we... Okay, well, extra arrow again. The one that does the... No, I should have done the other one. Whatever. Um, we'll poison. Deal a ton of extra damage. Um, we will shield up here. And, um, you know what? Oh, we can ult. Okay, here we go. Deal 16 damage, refund 3 fury if lethal. Is that the mana? Discarding. Huh. Drag here can't discard. I guess you can't discard your ultimates. Um, okay, deal 16 damage. Well, we could probably do that here. Let's, um. We're gonna barrel roll to the middle. And then we're going to. Yeah, tail lash. Okay, then we're going to bullseye. I don't know what Fury is. Is Fury the... Oh, Fury's probably the ultimate ability. Oh, here we go. He got his ult, so he's gonna just summon an army of people. Um, this guy's dispelling or cleansing, whatever. So the shock doesn't really matter. So we're going to just um, gain some chi, apply one shock per chi. I mean, it's cool. It's all about to go away, but... We hurt that guy a little bit. Oh, ultimate. Thousand Fist multi-strike. Oh, let's do it. I don't know if it counted them. I know it was overkill, but um, it got a couple hits on there, so. Okay, okay. Goodbye to that guy. Um, so we're almost there. Um, we just want to, is he doing... Okay, he's not, so we can do it here. Um, give us the shield. And um, honestly, we'll just promote, promote that guy, I guess. Um, deal 10 damage. Let's let's try to kill this front, or middle guy. So we're gonna do a bunch of quirky shock. So what we're gonna do there. Um, deal 10 damage, employ three poison. Yeah, let's just try to kill this this guy here. 10. There we go. Don't have to worry about him. We are worrying about 9 damage here. But that person has freaking, what, 60 health? So, I think that's fine. Minion immune to CC. Um, oh, we survived. Good work. Okay, let's do it. Gold. 
An ability, blinding pod, deal six damage, consume three chi to apply blind. Force the target to redirect its attack to the minion row. Blinded targets cannot target heroes. Crowd control cannot be removed. Oh, so the blind cannot be removed. That's pretty good. Deal six damage in a line lifesteal. That's good too. I think I like this bind blinding paw though. Um, deal six damage in a splash. Arrow deals six damage in a splash. Hits all adjacent. Oh! Okay, that doesn't mean it hits us. I think that means it um, does that. But deal four damage in a splash. I think I'd rather get exploding paw. Okay. So let's go ahead and kind of figure this out here. Um, we have 12 out of 12. So we want the way to get Chi. We'll take out one Thunder Kick just to... Uh, well, actually, we'll take out two Thunder Kick to be a little more consistent here. Um, and... Yeah, probably keep that the way it is. And... Uh, and yeah, let's let's complete this quest here. Completed the ancient scroll. Gain one resilience whenever an ally casts on you. Reduce all incoming damage by X. Only problem is, yeah, who's casting? Does that count as the the teleport? I don't know if that counts, but uh, we'll probably put it on. We'll put it on her, I guess. So, um, yeah, overall, I think this is probably a, a, a good stopping point um, for our um, Arcanium adventure. Um, if you want to see more of this, definitely subscribe. Ring that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say, uh, because I'm definitely going to be making a, uh, you know, more parts for this, at least until we finish this campaign. And if it's something you guys are enjoying, maybe beyond that. So definitely let me know if you want to see more of this. Uh, thanks again, Rogue Games Inc. Uh, and Super Combo for, uh, you know, sponsoring today's video. Um, and I hope you guys in, enjoyed this video. It's it's really cool to check out uh, new roguelites and stuff like that. And this one has been in early access for a while. And I know a lot of people are enjoying it. So it's cool to take a look at it. But um, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're going to be grinding out some Arcanium on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.